What's up guys, this is the Mexican and I'm back with another cocktail tutorial for you today. Um, today we're going to be making the classic sea breeze. I think it was invented around the 1970s. Um, from, well, from what I actually did a bit of research here. From what I heard, it was um, ocean spray trying to bring back cranberry juice. Um, so <laughs> so they, they made a cocktail around it. Um, but I, I think that might be one of those urban legends, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there, there you go. You can do some research if you want. Um, but yeah, it's a classic cocktail with vodka as the base ingredient. I have got... Um, Aldi vodka here, because um, you don't need an expensive one. There's enough fruit juice in this one to cover up a, um, a fairly average vodka, so it's no biggie. Um, so we're going to start by adding some ice to a cocktail shaker. There we go. All right, some of the ice is actually frozen together, which is makes it a bit inconvenient, but there you go. All right, one more. Nah, nah, nah. Fine, there's plenty in there. All right, and we want 60 mils of vodka, so let's get that in there. There we go. I've got the speed pourers on there. I'm, I'm, I'm quite enjoying the old speed pourers. There's something classy about them, the way it comes out. Um, but I've been thoroughly enjoying them, so I'm, uh, I've been putting a lot uh, on my um, other liquors. So uh, <laughs> I expect a few more speed pourer videos. Um, Shh. Next, we'll do 60 mils of the grapefruit juice. Um, yeah, grapefruit juice. Um, I've got the black label here, um, not because I'm pretentious, but because it was one of the ones that didn't have pulp in it. Um, needless to say, you do probably don't want pulp in your cocktail. So we want 60 mils of that. There we go. Uh, don't forget, one of the jiggers on a um, Boston shaker is 30 mils, so you just need two of them. All right, next up, we've got the Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. Um, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't go with any other one. If, you, if you're talking cranberry juice, you're going Ocean Spray anyway. Um, but yeah, given the urban legend, I've decided to go with it. Um, I was just looking on the back, seeing if it um, had um, the, the cocktail recipe on there, but it actually doesn't. <laughs> it would have been, been interesting. Um, but yeah, we want 90 mils of this, because this is, yeah, primarily a red cocktail. Cool, there we go, okay. All right, so we seal it up and then we shake it up. That's just me um, grabbing some ice for the highball glass. I'll show you in a moment. It's getting a bit chilly there. It's um, got a lot of liquid in there, so the ice is really <laughs> getting a bit of chill. Um, so yes, a highball glass is what we're going to be serving this in. Um, I've seen it served in an old-fashioned style glass, like ones that are a bit taller. Um, I think a um, one of those stemless wine glasses would work quite well for this. Um, I've gone with a highball today um, because I find a lot of the um, fruitier style drinks go best in a highball. Um, it's one, it's one of those things that you can you can certainly mix and match and experiment with. Um, similarly, if you want a more sour version of this, add more grapefruit juice and less, uh, less cranberry juice. Um, this is one of those cocktails that's almost like a base for other cocktails. Um, you remove one ingredient, um, uh, say you change the grapefruit juice to pineapple juice and it becomes a, a Hawaiian breeze or a Hawaiian sea breeze, something like that. Um, yeah, it's one of those cocktails you just swap a few things around and it becomes something, uh, another named cocktail. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna pour it in there. There we go. And that's pretty much it. You finish topping it up. I've got to learn to add more ice cubes to these things to make it look full. There we go, let's add a few more in there to get that, that fullness effect. There we go. That looks a lot better. And finally, we garnish with a lime. Now I have cut this with a serrated blade. I didn't have a better serrated blade. Don't use something like this. This is obviously for uh, roast meat. Um, to, get, to get through the skin of the lime, I found it quite difficult and it was damaging the, um, the actual lime itself. And then you wanna make a small incision to make it easier to attach to the drink. And there you go. You've got one fresh sea breeze. Now this is a perfect summer drink. I probably should explain to you um, what, the, what, the, what the flavor profile is. Um, you may have discovered I actually quite, I quite like the uh, fruity style drinks. Um, but yeah, this is a real summer drink. This is the kind of thing you're gonna be drinking um, you know, in the backyard. Uh, not with a barbecue, as, as, as I usually say, because um, it just doesn't really go with the barbecue. But um, 
Yes, it's like kick-ons at a mate's place, you know, you, you make a couple of these, have the friends around, you, it, it's the pool It's the pool party cocktail, that's what it is, it's the pool party cocktail. Um, so yeah, that is one sea breeze. Um, yeah, let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. If you like the content, go ahead and uh, smash that subscribe button. If you want to watch another video, go ahead, it'll be a cocktail tutorial, click that button right there. Um, I'll make it another fruity one, I think. Um, once again, guys, this is The Mexican, signing off.